Consumers have been able to grin and bear it. Higher inflation destroys most investments. So how do we make the most of an awful situation? Joining me now, Catherine Rivera. Catherine, now you have warned, by the way, I'm going to give you props here. You warned about inflation long before it became headline news. So what are the best traditional ways that we can make money? I'm not talking about hedging, but actually make money in this high inflation environment. Yeah, you can make money in really any scenario. And in this inflationary scenario, the way you want to do it is with in inflation sensitive and rate sensitive sectors in the U.S. market, such as materials, industrials, energy, banks. These are sectors within the S&P 500 that historically benefit from an inflationary and rising rate environment. You could also go into hard assets, and, and you and I have talked about this, Charles. I want to talk about that for a minute before you even go into that, because last week there was an art auction, real estate titan Harry Macklow and his wife. They've been in this real bitter divorce. It brought in almost $700 million. Their pre-sale estimate was $400 million. And here's the thing. Art has easily outperformed the stock market for a long time. And, of course, to your point, there's other hard assets. So let's talk about this, because... Uh, but, you know, I know this is something that our, our audience needs to know, like there are other things you can do other than stocks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, there are real estate, land. These are other asset classes, alternatives, even Bitcoin, even art world. Art world, the art world is fascinating. As you said, you know, we've seen millions of dollars poured into this. I have an emerging artist friend that he told me one year ago, he was selling a piece for 8000 Today it's worth 12000 That's just in one year. Um, art definitely can hold its value, especially in an inflationary environment, but you have to be really selective. you got to know what you're looking at. you got to DM me. Uh, uh, or just real quick, tell us your friend's name, the artist. Gustavo Fernandez. This is one of his art pieces right behind me. I got it at Art Basel last year. This year it's going to be very hot here in Miami. Miami's already on fire, but Art Basel is going to bring even more of my people from New York and New Jersey down here to snap up art or to even just look you know what? And, and see emerging artists. I would, I, would, I would really come down there for Art Basel with you. I, believe me, it would be like the number one thing I want to do except my granddaughter's having her first piano recital that day that I was going to come down. So I got to skip it this year. Hey, before I let you go, uh, the market in general, how are you feeling about it? I think we have further upside. The Fed has given inflation a de facto pass for the next six to 10 months, but start protecting your portfolios against inflation um, and the Fed rate hikes at the back end of next year. So still stay in risk on, but start protecting your portfolios with those inflation and rate sensitive sectors and asset classes, Charles. I'm digging your man's artwork. I really am. And I'm digging your answers even more. Catherine, always appreciate having you on. Thank you so much.